Good. Now let's look at the last way. Last way deals with the inclination of a line. And the inclination of a line is simply the angle that the line makes with the positive x axis. Very important, the angle the line makes with the positive side of the x axis. So if the line is directed up to the right, that angle will be an acute angle. And if the line is directed down to the right, then that angle will be an obtuse angle. And if you've got the angle to work out the gradient, you would simply, you would simply use the formula tan theta, m equal to tan theta. And this formula is on the formula sheet too. So this m equal to tan theta is on the formula sheet as well. And you don't have to remember it. So let's look at an example of where we would use this particular formula. Let's suppose we have a straight line whose equation is y equals x plus 2. And then let's suppose we have a second line whose equation is y equals 2x minus 3. And what we're interested in is we're interested in the angle between those two lines. This is a typical question which comes up quite often and certainly deals with inclination in a very nice way. If we call, I'm going to use some color here, <coughs> color here so that we can see what's happening. I'm going to refer to the yellow line and then I'm going to the refer to the green line. If we look at the yellow line, the gradient of the yellow line, let's say my, is the equation is y equals x plus 2, so the gradient of the yellow line is 1. We now know that tan of its inclination, let's call it y, is 1. Tan of the inclination of that line is 1. Where is the inclination of this line? Let's put a red dot there. There's the inclination. That angle which I have indicated with a red dot, that is the inclination of the line. The line, the yellow line. Why? Because inclination is defined as the angle that the line makes with the positive x-axis. So the red dot indicates the inclination of that line y equals x plus 2. And to work out that inclination, we use the formula m equals tan theta. We know that tan of that inclination, tan of the angle indicated by the red dot, will be equal to 1. The formula is m equals tan of, say, alpha, where alpha is that angle which the line makes with the x-axis. Take your calculator. Take your calculator and go shift tan 1. Not tan 1, but shift tan 1. And make sure that your calculator is on in the degree mode. So you take your calculator and you go shift tan 1, shift tan 1, and you get 45 degrees. And so the angle of the red dot, the red dot, correct, the red dot is that angle is 45 degrees. If we now look at the line with the equation y equals 2x minus 3, let's indicate that angle, oy, not what I wanted, let's indicate that angle with a green dot, there we go, there's my green dot, I'm happy now. Let's indicate that angle with the green dot, you will see what happens. This green dot indicates what? It indicates the inclination of the line that has equation y equals 2x minus 3. What is inclination again? Inclination is the angle which the line, 
There's the line. The angle which the line makes with the positive x-axis, as I've indicated with the green dot. How are we going to determine that line? We use this formula down here. How? We say tan of that angle, let's say G for green, is tan of the angle equals the M. There's the equation of the line. So what's the M? The M is 2 because the gradient is 2. Y equals 2X minus 3, the gradient is 2. Take your calculator once again. Don't go tan 2, go shift tan 2. Shift tan 2. And your calculator has to say to you 63,4. Your calculator has to say to you 63,4. And that is the green angle that I've indicated above. <clears throat> now, if you look in the diagram, you will see this little triangle here, which I'm highlighting in yellow. That triangle, theta is the angle we're looking for. The red angle, we know how much that is. It's 45. And the green angle, we know how much that is. It's 63,4. And what do we know about the exterior angle of a triangle? We know that the exterior angle of a triangle, that is the green angle, that exterior angle of the triangle is equal to the red angle plus theta. So from basic grade 8 geometry, the exterior angle of a triangle, there's the triangle, I've highlighted it in yellow. The exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the two interior angles. So the green angle is equal to the red angle plus theta. Well, we know how much the green is. It's 63,4. We know how much the red is. It's 45. And so that allows us to make a conclusion about how much theta is. It's 18,4 degrees. Great. What a great question. That's great. There you have it. I've taken analytical geometry and I've given you a really good indication of what to expect in that first chapter. If you've done it, it was a great summary for you on gradient. And if you haven't done it, you know exactly what to expect. 0800 62847. 0800 maths. That's the number you should be dialing. After the break, Jacques will be with you.